everywhere around the greens. I think that's the perks of being a member. And I was like, you know what, if I actually do hit a good shot, it may just get on the green, but end up being leaving myself a perfect spot just up the hill. And uh, yeah, it was definitely nice to make the turn at four on there. Having played this course so many times, knowing those little nuances. Lydia Ko, she's just two points away from the LPGA Hall of Fame. Each victory worth a point. That eagle at the ninth ties Lydia for the lead. Flag is located at the back of the green today, but the wind is helping down this hole. A little change of wind direction from yesterday. Just a moment ago at 10, Lydia. Well, this was uphill, and it should want to move left. How did that not go in? That looks like it's a leaner right there. Good stroke. And you have to think that Lydia's riding. Home run hitter to Lydia Cole at the 12th. Well, and this is from 145, quite heavily downwind, and... That was pretty uh, good looking line right there. I'm not sure that she's gonna go back to straight away where she was in 22, but I expect to make her to make inroads in that and maybe the following year really come out on fire again. I think really gives her something to really build on. And this is as good a shot as I've seen her play in a while. And I think that the fact that she, beautiful shot there, that that she committed to spending the offseason here says a lot. Notice, right? I've noticed, yeah, especially on the Swan Cup team. And, and so does Lydia. She's pretty good. This was a moment ago at 14. Fifteen. Lydia Ko on the tee. Tee's moved up today, Angel, so players can go for this in two. It is a bit into the wind, though, Tom. But she put herself in a good spot there. Yeah, good up and down. <laughs> Just hit this with everything you got. In watching Lydia today, Karen, how technical has she seemed? Not at all, actually. She's looked really good, and the ball seems to be jumping off the off the club face really well for her, too. So that's how much wind is up there. It's a good club and a half more than what I've expected her to play here from this yardage. Left herself an uphill putt. She's had some chances on the back. It just looked like she didn't strike that well. Yeah, maybe a touch tentative there. Ideally want to land it just on top of that shelf. Pretty Don't good. Want to... Ah, beauty. That's exactly where that landed. Don't want to flirt with being long. Leaves herself with an uphill putt. Good three in the end. Very disappointed she didn't walk away with a two, unlike Brooke Henderson. Let's see how low this comes out. Well, she's still got some good height on it. And this one on a fade. That was quite the advantage for players who played earlier and who are already done. hear the music blaring from the DJ. What a shot this is from Lydia. Oh, that was beautiful. She controlled that trajectory, kept it under the wind. There you go. A birdie three for Lydia Ko, just the third of the day at the 18th. Uh, what a way to end, and, and should the leaderboard end as it does 